Hi, I'm Brad and today I'd like to talk to you about glasses and which glasses you can use for different wines that you would taste. And uh, it's quite important because wines uh, do taste and smell differently in different glasses and it's all to do with the shape of the glass and how much oxygen gets in the glass and where the wine hits your palate because different parts of your palate um, have different um, characteristics that you can taste and so this is a typical wine tasting glass that you would get in a, uh, a wine show or professionals would use very simple it's very small um, you can get a good nose and aroma from the wine and um, you can see the clarity of the wine very easily but I, I wouldn't particularly use this sort of wine glass at home. Um, this is a champagne flute, so you would use this for Prosecco, or for Sect, or for Champagne. Um, and it's basically shaped like that because the champagne has natural effervescence, natural um, fizz, and so the bubbles can um, escape and then you have this beautiful elegant flute. The French also sometimes use a coupe for champagne. Um, it's a little bit old-fashioned these days people are using these champagne flutes and that's quite a nice one because it uh, sort of op well, closes in a little bit at the top just so that you can get a little bit of extra uh, clarity on the aroma because that just brings the, f the, the characters of the nose in so you, to your um, nasal passage so you can smell a little bit uh, easier. I, I quite like those. This is a normal white wine glass and this is what I would call a burgundy white wine glass. Um, why are they different? Well um, this would be very good for Sauvignon Blancs and Rieslings and young fresh crisp wines because you get the um, wine can be more focused um, you don't get so much air going onto the wine, so wines like Sauvignon Blanc and Semillon, they don't do very well with age, so it's better to keep them fresh and away from oxygen for as long as you can. So keep them in a, in a glass like that, very tight and, and uh, um, thin and elegant. This is a, a white wine glass that you would use for Burgundies. So you would use this for Chardonnays, for example, that have had some um, oak ferment or some barreling. So they're richer, they have more character, they need to see a little bit more air. Um, these are for wines which maybe um, are a little bit older. Um, and so you can really get the wine going around the glass and you can um, uh, have the nose focused. Um, and this is a typical sort of burgundy white wine glass. Very, very nice and also looks, looks beautiful for serving wine in. Um, going on to red wines, you would also then perhaps use this wine for red burgundies because red burgundies are the same, they need to have a little bit of aeration. Uh, red burgundies, if they're very well made, can last a long time, that's the Pinot Noir. Um, and this would be used, I think, probably for Shiraz, Cabernet Sauvignon, wines which have a lot of body, a lot of oomph, and uh, wines which you can put into a big glass and you can really swirl around so that you get lots of aeration, you get um, uh, lots of air into the wine to open up the wine and let it taste better on the palate. Um, so they're quite different. Um, again, burgundy and then a normal red wine. Um, of course, there's a big difference between using that for a white wine and that for a red wine. It wouldn't really work if you did that for a white wine and that for a red wine, simply because a red wine needs to develop, it needs to open up and that's why red wine sometimes gets better with the two or three hours of aeration. The last glass that I have is this very beautiful and elegant cognac, armagnac glass. You can also use it for whiskey. It's got a beautiful um, elegant curves, it, the, 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 the cognac sits in the bottom, it can swirl around, you can warm it up with your hands to get more aromas and that's a, a great wine to use for a, for a digestive or an after dinner drink. Um, so I hope that helps. Uh, any questions, please send me an email. And uh, all of this you will be able to find on bradswine.com.